don't really recommend this for anyone especially not doing this alone but I mean this is my last chance to get out here before they might close the fishery so I'm doing it last chance to get out here before they close fishing in California possibly <sighs> check out the other side I have never been to this spot before All I'm using today are swim baits. Going for rockfish, cabazon, lingcod. Never been to the spot, but let's uh, let's do it. It looks really, really fishy. Let's see how deep this is. I'm fishing. It's about to be high tide. Very, very soon. Oh man, it's still dropping. That's deep. Using a one ounce right here. Ooh, definitely rocky right there. Uh oh, Snag City. Changing up my lure to like a bass lure. Just right in between those two rocks to see see what that gives me. Just as deep. Where these fish at? Oh, there's one. Oh, saw that bite. Drop it back down. Here we go. That was a bite for sure. An aggressive one, too. aggressive one too well this spot is for sure fishy might have to throw a few different presentations at it I'm gonna just throw back out there and see if it takes it kind of same spot right at the tip where that foam ends over there it drops all the way to the bottom. I don't know what kind of fish that was. I 
gonna just bounce this a little bit because this one doesn't really have that swim action that the Kai Techs do with the tail. So you kind of have to create that action yourself. I don't even know what it looks like. Kind of looks like a crayfish, maybe. Here it is. This is where I got bit last time. Let's see if that fish comes back. Oh, there's a rock right there. More rocks right there. It's almost like a little shelf right here. Oh no. Right here. There's a rocks and like a shelf. Alright, so I'm kind of learning how the landscape is underwater. Kind of mentally sort of map that out as I'm bumping rocks. Close to shore here, there's another one out there. So next time I'll reel in a little faster when I come closer to shore so I don't snag up on those rocks and whatnot. Alright man, let's change this up. Alright, switched it up. Look at this. I have like a big hammer with a off chain hook, so it's weedless. I've never tried this, but I bet you going to catch a fish. Let's go. Oh, just past high tide a little bit, so it's going to be all going now. Oh, I miss it. Missed it. Bite though. Let's come back for it. It's right there again. I wonder what fish it is. Keep getting those bites, man. I think it's a small rockfish or something. It's got to be a link hide. Look at that. Tore off the tail, dude. Tied on a Kitex wind aid on here. Same spot. Let's hit it. I'm going to get that fish. I have to. A bit twice already. He was nipping at the tail, though. This is three different presentations to that fish. There it is. Got it. Got it. What is it? It's not that big. I got, I got it though. Oh, it's a nice, nice black rockfish. Oh no, don't come off. Don't come off. There we go. It's a nice black rockfish. Nice one. That is a nice one. That's what I'm talking about, solid. That's a solid fish. That is maybe what bit my lure off earlier. Was it you? Could have been. Solid though. That's what I'm after. Rockfish, Capzon, Lincoln. This is a black rockfish right here. 
that, my friends, is a solid, solid black rock fish right here. These guys taste great. They are venomous. For those that don't know, they have these venomous spines right here all on them. Actually, I just got poked already. But it's fine. It's like a beast thing. It's fun after, though. Whew. Let's get some more. Ah, they're feeding. I thought it was a link on the bit at first because the tail came off. But it might have been that black rockfish. That was pretty that was a decent sized black rockfish. One thing to know is that blacks, black rockfish and blue rockfish, they tend to screw up. So there's one. Good chance that there might be another one right there in that hole. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to pass through that spot again. See if we get another one. Alright, new bait on. Kind of got this reddish, orangish color. Again, new presentation for these fish. Ooh. That felt very, very fishy. So I'm going to just slow roll it back now. Bounce over a rock. More rocks. Some more rocks right there. More, 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 more rocks. I'm on something. Oh, something was on it. There it is. It's back. It's link on. Oh. Take it. Something was on it. Oh, no way. That was a link on 100%. Either that or a huge rock dish. Something was on it. That was that was big, for sure. Got my heart racing now. <clears throat> Something was on it. I tried to set the hook, and then it and then it spit it, and then it spit it, and then it came right back again. Let's get it again. Oh man. I don't want to miss the opportunity again. Make this lure perfect, kind of. <clears throat> these weedless lures don't work that well with these uh, big hammers, but as you can see, I still got a, I, I still get bites. And that's what we want. Sidearm this, baby. That was a link cod though, man. That's a good sign though, these fish are kind of out and uh, and feeding, at least. Can't believe I missed it. I had it in his mouth, I know it. Because right over that rocky patch I'm passing through right now. Hop over this rock. I know it followed it though. Followed it, it's over here. Pretty close to shore, like. I don't know, that's like 10 feet from shore. Man, had it in his mouth, I pulled it out. And then, uh, oh. This color though is just fluorescent in the water. It's wild.
sometimes I'll pause like this and let it drop and just sit still for a bit. There's, there it is. Got one. Got one again. Jumped out the water. Another black. Oh, don't go into the rocks. Another nice black. Oh, don't go into the rocks. No, 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 no. Another nice black, like I said, man. They will be in numbers. They will be in numbers. The other one is a slightly bigger, but I'm glad, uh, I am very glad this swim bait worked. Wasn't exactly sure if it would work, but it did. Another nice one. Ah. Let's go feeding my family today. All right, same thing. I'm gonna use this swim bait till it's gone. So I can't fish with it anymore. It's kind of tore up, but. As long as it still moves that butt, moves that tail, it's probably gonna catch some fish. That's a nice little hole right there. I feel like that wing cod earlier is in that same hole. And whatever bit earlier that I thought was a wing cod, it's way bigger than that fish. Now I want a wing pod or a calves on. There's one. Yep. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. That's a wing cod. Oh. Let's see. I'll keep it in the water. Let me get this angle for you guys. Oh no, it's stuck. Nope. Get up over here. Let me get this angle for you guys. This should be pretty cool. I could do it without losing this fish. Oh no. Don't go into the rocks. Yep. Oh, it's a fat cabazon. Fat cabazon, that's right. Oh man. getting pulled. Come on, baby. There we go. Let's see if I can do this. That's a fat calves on. It's not going nowhere. Oh, come here. Come here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed that angle. That right, pretty, pretty cool. Whew. I realized that my GoPro was not recording. Absolute beauty right here. Absolutely gorgeous fish. I love Cabazon. I haven't had Cabazon in a while. Let's see. Quick measurement 15 inches legal. 100% over 15. Absolute beauty. Let me get this hook out real fast. Oh, don't bite on my hand. But let me show you guys. 
I was, yeah, like he's gonna bite on my hand. Oh crap! I gotta let go. So these calves are. Look at that blue, blue mouth. It's gonna have blue meat, but they love feeding on uh, on crab, crustaceans. They love feeding on crab, crustaceans, and uh, and even fish. So, and they taste great. Look at my fingers catching these fish and putting my fingers down their mouth. These fish all have serrated, uh, I guess, mouths. Just need to catch a wing cod. Those guys got not just serrated mouths, but they got teeth. My head is tore up. And that's when they just tore up that I'm using. Yeah, so something like this is kind of not really staying on the hook that well anymore. Sidearm again, baby. Bunch of rocks right there. Kind of like it when I tap rocks because there might be fish just hanging around there. And if I hop over a rock, and a fish sees it, it's almost using that rock as, as some cover for ambush. So whenever I feel a rock and I hop over, I kind of pause a little bit. I don't reel as fast. So you can see these fish aren't line shy. A 65 pound braid tied straight on. Doesn't, these fish are still biting. No fluorocarbon. I'm telling you, these rockfish are super aggressive. Changed rigs. Kind of want to see what's down there. Do you guys? Oh, should I throw this camera down there? Might get snagged. But uh, I have 65 pound mainline to a snap swivel to my camera. Super important. This is going to be super strong. And then about two and a half feet or something like that. To this Kitex swim bait, weedless, new color again. Let's see. I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little worried about throwing a camera down there. Would you guys be? Should I even do this? I don't even know. Oh well. I hope I don't regret this. Like for real, for real. Oh yeah, that's rocky. Oh, okay, let's get out of there. I have to swim this thing a little faster now because it's a little heavier. actually swimming it a lot faster. I'm just scared to get snagged. I'm like super scared, scared to get snagged. This thing kind of throws off the entire balance. I might try a few casts. And then, uh, we'll see. We'll see from there.
All right, two more casts with this guy. That way I could just gauge what's on the bottom. Really, really wonder how it looks down there. Oh man. Whew. Definitely some rocks right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh goodness, I was scared. Breaks us in the Last pass with the camera on. Do a little sidearm again. I switch it up to a big hammer after this see how that does see a few rocks right up out there that big one and there's a shadow right in front of it I don't know if you can see that on camera uh oh oh Got the big hammer on this time. Little cup greenling color. Kind of that greenish red. This time I'm gonna throw closer to that rock right there. I'm gonna throw closer to that rock right there. So straight out, but I'm gonna reel in toward that rock. Oh, it's deep right there. It's getting a little windier here and just a little bit rougher. But it's still good swim bait conditions right here. The current's really pushing my swim bait that way, so I'm gonna cast to the left a little more. Using a one ounce jig head. Gotta be fish right around that rock right there. I'm hitting rocks. Gotta be. Come on, Linkod. I feel like there's gonna be one right there. I'm super close to that, that rock right there. Oh, that was fishy. I think that was a fish. Drop it back down. Was that a fish? Maybe. There's one little hole right here. I don't know where that's from. I don't know if, you, know if this is visible to you guys. That right there. A little hole. I don't know if that's teeth or what. But. 
we do that again then. Come on, baby. I know there are link hot around. I know it. There's rockfish and cabs on. Good chance that a link hot is right there. Right there. What is it? It's not that big. What is it? What is it? It's right there. Oh, don't get out of those rocks. Oh, small link hot. Small one. Oh man. It's up in those rocks. Oh, I'm stuck on a muscle. It's a link hop though. There we go. Get out. Show you guys. I knew there's a link hot around. I knew it. Perfect hook set right there. Look at that. Look at that guys. Right on the top of the lip. Ooh, it's got a bunch of sea lice. But uh, this guy's small, obviously. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and release it. But they're around. Let me get the fish grippers. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to show you was the teeth. Look at that. There we go, swam right back down. Knew there had to be link hot around. And they don't care, snap, swivel, everything. No floral, straight braid. Big old hook coming out the top. These guys are aggressive. Now we need a bigger one and I'll call it a day. One link hot. I'm gonna work that same spot again next to this rock. It's getting a little rougher. There, woo! Oh man. Come back for it. Missed it. Fish right there though. I'm gonna do it again. If I keep getting, oh man. Come on, baby. Come back for it. Wonder what it was. Hold on it a little bit. No teeth marks. Uh, a little some some right there. A little serrated. It's probably a rockfish. Oh, oh, look at this. A little, yep, definitely nipped at it at the tail. No big teeth marks though, so I don't know if it's a, if it's a, Lincod might be another rockfish. Man, when you get a bite, it's kind of addicting. You're like, there's got to be a fish down there. I know it. And I'm just, I'm chasing it. That's my goal right now to catch that fish that just bit my lure and did not get hooked. getting kind of tired just standing here on these cliffs I need a good wake up call like a fish whoa that was a hundred percent of fish I need a good wake up call like that though come on baby come back for it all right last thing I'm gonna try before I head out it was like a seven inch swim bait right here three ounce jig head that black rockfish color I mean whatever takes this I'm assuming it's got to be a lingcod or a huge fish huge rockfish let's do it uh, last few casts before I head out of here
casting this guy, I'm pretty much limiting myself to big old link odds. Because that's what I want to catch before I end this day. Just need a link cod to make this a perfect day. That trio of rockfish, cabzon, and link cod. That's a good day. Alright man, oh, I'm gonna need another wake up call. Oh, there's a, oh! Come back, you saw that? Didn't get hooked. Come on man, it's gotta be a link cod, right? It's a huge bait. Oh, how am I gonna leave? How am I gonna leave, dude? It's gotta be a link cod. Man, every time I sit down, I get a bite. It's gotta be a link cod, dude. Pulled it off again. How am I supposed to leave, dude? All right, I think I'm gonna call it, man. I can't get that fish. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back for it another day. Hopefully fishing is not banned, but um, you know, take care of everyone. I know there's this whole crazy situation with COVID-19 right now. It's obviously a very extreme situation, but we're gonna overcome it. And you know, right now all we can do is stay positive socially isolate ourselves and hopefully things like this won't be banned I mean I know they're talking about it in California right now but coming out to fish to gather some food for my family I didn't see anyone today so all in all it's a decent fishing day and I hope everyone stays safe we're gonna look back on this and realize that we made history and the whole planet, the whole world, the whole globe is coming together to fight this thing. And we're gonna get through it, trust me, for sure. Just gotta stay positive and, uh, you know, keep doing what you love. Might take months, maybe years, I don't know, but we'll be good. All right, man, let's get out of here. Ah!